There's a user manual for your ATEM, and I want to read it as much as I want to put together IKEA furniture. But you should do this if you are using your ATEM regularly in similar setups that don't change. Hidden in the support pages of the Blackmagic ATEM Mini lineup of switchers is this wild thing called a manual. I know that we take these for granted, but there's a lot to learn from them, including page 96 of the ATEM Mini manual, where it talks about one setting you should consider if you use your switch in the same scenario a lot. This is for the houses of worship or podcast studios where they rarely change anything about their setup and simply want to turn on the ATEM and go. This is for the creatives that are annoyed having to always check the settings in the streaming settings or who don't want to make the same macros over and over again each time. And it's such a simple setting to miss because it's in the menu of the ATEM software control. So if you don't set this up the first time around, it's pretty easy to miss. And even if you do go into the software control, it's in the actual menu at the top of the screen, not in the user interface itself. So what is it? The setting is called Save Startup State. And if you have your switcher set up the way you want it, you can have it save your default startup state. All you have to do is go to the ATEM software control and select Save Startup State. Now, whenever you restart the switcher, it will start up with your save settings by default. If you want to clear the startup state and revert it back to factory settings on restart, Simply go to the file menu and select clear startup state. So when does this setting come into play? Have you ever set up for an event the night before, powered everything down, and then the next day you come back in and nothing is where it was left? I mean super source settings, gone. Key settings, gone everything gone. That's because the startup state wasn't saved. Or perhaps you came in and found that the switcher was set to stream to a different platform or stream key than where you left it. This could happen if you accidentally save an older startup state and you don't save the new one. That's why I get in the habit of saving and clearing the startup state in between projects. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, hmm, if this is explained in the manual, what else might be in the user manual? Especially if I had to go to page 9 96 just to find it. Let me show you how to find the secret manual if you care to read through it. And then I'm going to point out three things in the manual that you might want to know. Hint, most of these won't get discussed in a YouTube video. And that's all the more reason to subscribe to my channel so you can come back here and learn more about the ATEM switchers. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, so you want to find the ATEM manual just in case that there's something interesting to learn there. Simply head on over to blackmagicdesign.com and go to products, then click on the ATEM Live production switchers box at the top of the page. This will bring up all of the models of the ATEM switchers. So let's say that you have the ATEM Mini Pro ISO. I'll click on that one. Then at the top of the page, you'll find a small menu with an option for tech spec. Click on that and you'll see a description box just below the ATEM image with a blue link for download manual. So what else is in the manual that you might want to know about? Well, for starters, there's a whole page teaching you how to use keyboard hotkeys. So if you ever needed to switch without the ATEM itself, or if the ATEM wasn't accessible, but it was connected to the software control, you could use the keyboard hotkeys. That's on page 98. I know, if you didn't read that far, you'd never find it. On page 83, there's a section all about recording macros. Now, of course, you could just watch my YouTube video that shows you how to make macros and my other video that explains my most used macros, but in the manual, you'll come to realize that there are 100 macro spots and up to 20 macros available on each page. It'll also show you how you can add a pause between your macro actions. Lastly, on page 75, if you ever wondered how the camera control worked, you'd find a full explanation that shares that you can control the cinema camera 4K and 6K using your ATEM. It also explains how to work all the dials and buttons to adjust things like iris, gain, and focus. Note this only works with Blackmagic cameras. I know it's easy to think I'm just going to plug this thing in and any questions I have, I'll hop into the Facebook groups and online forums to ask, but oftentimes, if you just skim through the manual, you might get your answer faster, and to be quite frank, you might even get a more accurate answer. There's a lot of misinformation online. The manual provides great information, and we should all consider giving it a skim through. That's all for this ATEM Switchers tip. I'll see you next time.